Hello, this is Dr. Lotz from humanbodyhealth.com, and today I'm going to run through the bones of the forearm, the antibrachial region. Okay, the two bones in the antibrachial region are the radius and the ulna. Okay? So, first thing we need to do is distinguish anterior and posterior. Now, I'll show you the sides. The anterior view is what we're looking at right now. So, if I were to put my forearm down next to this, we would be looking at this view here, okay, right there. Okay, these are the anterior views. If I were to turn these over, we would see what the posterior view of each one of these bones looks like. Okay, this is posterior view. We also want to know the difference between proximal and distal, and again, if I put my forearm over these bones, you'll notice that my elbow is down at this end and my hand is down at this end. Okay, so this would be proximal, this would be distal. This end would be proximal and this end would be distal. Okay, now another thing we need to know is which one is lateral and which one is medial. Okay, there's an easy way to remember that. The lateral of the two would be the radius, and that's on the thumb side. Okay, so if we were standing in anatomical position, you would notice that my thumb is over here, and that's the side the radius is on. The pinky side would be the side that the ulna is on. Okay, this thumb right here only has two phalanges, and it can make a lowercase r, r for radius. The pinky has three phalanges, so it can make, if I can turn my hand that way, it can make a U, a U for ulna. Okay, so the radius, if I were to hold the radius like this with the head and my thumb on that little push button, you can see that it makes an R for radius. The thumb makes an R for radius. If we were to look at the ulna bone, we would see there's a clue, a big clue on it. Look at that U right there. Okay, that's called the trochlear notch, and that U indicates that this bone is an ulna. Remember, U for pinky side. Okay? So that should help you identify the difference between which one's on the lateral side, radius, and which one's on the medial side, the ulna. So this means we're looking at the forearm bones on the left side of the body. Now some of the structures on these bones will help us identify them. I'm going to move that out of the way and just focus exclusively on the radius for now. We've got the head of the radius up here and a nice smooth articular surface right here that would articulate with the radial notch on the ulna right there. Down here we have the tuberosity of the radius or radial tuberosity. You'll learn later on that this is going to be a connection site for the biceps brachii muscle. Uh, we've got the shaft of the radius down here with this nice sharpened ridge right here, which is going to be an attachment site for the interosseous membrane that would connect these two bones together. Going down to the distal aspect, we can see this pointy part right here. That pointy part Early anatomists thought that that looked like a stylus or styloid process. They call it the styloid process because it looked like a stylus, something to write with. Okay. Now if I turn this over and look at the posterior aspect, there's another interesting feature on here that I want to show you. This bump right here, this bump right here is known as Lister's tubercle. It's on the posterior aspect of the radius. Okay. If we were to look at the radius over here, now the radius is running across like this because I've pronated my forearm. So if we look at the radius and follow it over, there's going to be a bump right here. And I can use this tendon to find that bump. That bump is Lister's tubercle, and this tendon is the tendon for extensor pollicis longus, a long extensor muscle of the thumb. That Lister's tubercle is going to be a fulcrum or a pivot point for that tendon. That tendon wraps around that bump for extra leverage. Okay, so that's Lister's tubercle right there, and that's on the back of the radius. 
If we look at the ulna, some of the structures that we can see on the ulna, again, we've got this notch right here, which is the trochlear notch. The trochlea of the humerus would articulate here. Another thing we can see is this big bump back here. This is the olecranon process. Olecranon process, olecranon means elbow. So this is the pointy part of your elbow right here. There it is, right there. Okay. Down here, we've got another styloid process, but this is the styloid process of the ulna, not the styloid process of the radius. There's one more structure I'd like to highlight, and that's the coronoid process. Not coracoid like on the scapula, but coronoid on the ulna. Coronoid means crown-like, as if these pointy structures were like the points on a crown. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.